Alright. So... I want to show you guys how to override textures in DS3 using IGP-11. Uh, if you're not familiar with IGP-11, this is where you can get it. Just download it, install it. Pretty, pretty simple. Then once you have it running, what you want to do is click this button. Make sure it's uh, set to the Dark Souls 3, if you're playing Dark Souls 3. And you want to set the executable path to your Dark Souls 3.exe. Okay, and this is where mine is. It's probably the same on your computer, unless you have a different version of Windows or you're running a 32-bit machine. Most, most of the time it'll be here. Okay. Alright, so once that is set, if you're overriding textures, you want to make sure that you click on this button and you want to make sure that override mode is set to override. Okay. And... Also, there's an override path. Um, you can leave it at the default. The default is set to your Dark Souls 3 app directory slash IGP11 slash text override. Um, this is where you want to put all the textures um, that will override the ones in the game. Okay. So, if you click on that button right here, and you clicked on this for the first time, you're probably going to have an empty folder. Um, so once you find the textures you want to use to override in the game, you just place them here. Alright. And that's how you override them. Uh, but since you don't have any textures, you probably want to dump them and find the texture to override. Um, so to do that, you can put set it to dumping mode. All right, and I've actually ran this. So yeah, you set it to dumping mode and then you launch the game. And when you run the game, every time the game tries to load a texture, it will put it in the dumping directory. As you can see, there is a ton. There is a butt ton. <laughs> then once you, you, you override it, you close it, close the game and then you set it back to override after you've dumped all the textures okay so then you want to probably use a tool to find the texture that you want to override there's this cool little program inside the IGP 11 called texture management you click on that and then you know you can go and set it to the uh, text dump directory I think it would put it here yeah and uh, right so we have to find it where was it we put it it was program files x86 Dark Souls 3. Where are you? Is this the right one? Oh, it's in Steam.
can't remember what it was. There it is. Set it to the text dump directory, and now you can view all the textures here. There's a ton of them. Um, if you're looking for a specific texture, like the grass crest shield, or a weapon, you can uh, find a mod on Nexus Mods, and you can download that. Uh, and after you download that, you can set the source directory here to that text override folder in that mod. And then you can just override from there. Okay? So, once you have that, you found the textures you want to modify or override with a brand new texture. You can do that with GIMP. Um, that is the program that I use. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, so here is my computer in Linux. It should work on Windows. And I have GIMP right here open. It, the name uh, GIMP stands for GNU Image Manipulation Program. It's an abbreviation. It's not a bad word. Um, <laughs> so let's uh, open up the text override folder for that. And I'm going to be overriding one of the textures that I've already overridden. I just need to find it. This one. So what we're going to do is we're going to take this XD and we're going to rotate it 90 degrees. So that's pretty simple to do in GIMP. I'm going to cut this, paste it. And I think there is that's a crop tool. Let's just make it a new layer. And then we want to transform this. We want to flip it 90 degrees clockwise? No. Oh wait, yeah, yeah, we did want that. Just looks odd when to do that when you do that. There, transform. <laughs> okay, sweet. And then I'm gonna just fill in the white that right here. Oops, that's not white. That's white. Perfect. Alrighty. I should probably add a guide. And also a vertical guide. so we can align it. We think that will look good. I think that looks good. All right. Mm, maybe offset a little to the right. Okay, I think that looks good. All right, so once you have that modified, you want to merge all your added layers down to the original one. That's just what worked for me. So I just merged that layer down, and now we have only one layer, and that layer's name is the name of the texture. Okay. 
and we want to export that. And make sure that it you have this selected because we want to save it as that file type, which is DDS. Okay, you want to replace it. And you'll see a whole bunch of options here. Just ignore it. Um, okay. There's probably a guide showing what all those options mean online that you can look up. And I'm actually going to save this. Oh wait, never mind, no. We're just going to... Alright, let's just load it up and see if this works. Okay. So... I, I'm actually going to use git to do this. You don't have to use Git if you're on the same computer that IGP-11 is running on. You you don't have to use this Git stuff. Um, you just want to make sure you have that texture in the folder. Okay, so we're gonna switch over to the Windows computer. And we're going to make sure that 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 we have that. Okay. So let's see if we can find that texture in this little uh, texture management thing. Where did we store that? Put it in source slash chemical cranberry text override. So it should be here. Yep, there it is. Okay. So we're ready to use this now. We can load this in Dark Souls 3. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to set the override path to to that folder that we were just looking at. Uh. Yep. All right. Oh, it won't let me actually set it. Okay, that's all right. We're just going to select all these. Go to our text override folder that we can't change. Paste it. Uh, click replace files. Cool. Now we are ready to launch the game. Make sure that override mode is set to override. And you might want to disable all these effects. Uh, it makes the game look really dark. Alright, so launch the game. Let's see if it works.
Cool. So that's how you modify and override textures in DS3. I hope this tutorial helped you. And uh, yeah, you have a good day.